Hello friends, welcome. In this class we will talk about the other type of the market structure that is the monopolistic competition. Okay. In this class we will talk about the definitions and the features of the monopolistic competition, the product differentiation function of this market structure and the equilibrium in this competition, the monopolistic competition. Then the advantages and the disadvantages of it and in the end we will talk about the monopolist versus a monopolistic competition, the difference between both of them. So let's start with the basic meaning, understanding of the monopolistic competition, that is the definition of it. So monopolistic competition is a kind of a market structure in which we have the many sellers and that provides the differentiated product. Okay. In a monopoly firm, we just have only one seller, whereas in a perfectly competitive firm, there is a large number of sellers okay, and they are selling the homogeneous product. Okay. But monopolistic competition is in between both of them. There is the large more number of seller than the monopoly form and lesser than the perfectly competitive form. Okay, and they are selling the differentiated product. So this is known as the monopolistic competition. Okay, this is the many number of sellers and the the product differentiation is there. Okay, let's understand this with the help of example. Let assume that. There is only one brand of a mango drink that is fruity. So if the in the whole market, the whole industry there is fruity only, then we can say that it is a monopoly market. But with fruity, we have the maza and slice, and three of them selling the same that is a mango drink, but they are different in terms of the quality, in terms of the price, in terms of, in terms of the packaging. So through these ways, they are differentiating their product and selling into the market. So we can say that it is the monopolistic competitive form. Okay. Uh, let's understand this with the help of the another example. We have the various brands of the toothpaste. Okay, let's say Colgate, Bubble, Pepsodent, Close Up, etc. But each one of them provides the differentiated product. That is, one is for, for the whitening the teeth, the other one is for the mouthwash, beds, etc., the freshness, etc. And they are promoting their product with the help of providing the free toothbrushes etc like the close of doing okay so in this way they are differentiating their product by one way or the other way and therefore we can say that it is the monopolistic competitive form okay so we talk about the product is differentiated in these kind of market structure but how the form is differentiating their product okay it can be in terms of the quality difference Okay. The firm can provide the higher level of the quality compared to the other and in this way they differentiated their product. It can be with the help of the advertisement. If the some firm provides the higher level of advertisement and aware the consumer. The advertisement can also be of two types. The first one is informative advertisement in which the firm provides, give it, gives the information about the new product. So that is known as the informative advertisement. Whereas the second type of advertisement is that there is a manipulative advertisement. In this kind of advertisement, they are creating the psychological preference for the particular product in the minds of the consumer so that they would like to purchase that product. There is no difference uh, between the product but they are creating the psychological difference, the psychological preference in the mind of the consumer. Okay, So that way the product can be differentiated with the help of the advertisement. The another way is with the help of the patent rights and the trademark. 
Okay. The next feature of the uh, monopolistic competitive firm is there is if the firm would like to enter into the market, they can take an entry at any point of time, and if they would like to leave the industry, they can exit. Okay. So there is no entry and exit barrier in the monopolistic competitive firm. The next one is that there is a higher elasticity of demand in a monopolistic competitive firm. As in the monopolistic firm, the firm is providing the differentiated product. Their product is different from the other one. Okay, They have the some level of, not complete, they have the some level of monopoly power over the prices and therefore the demand curve is higher elastic compared to the monopoly firm. Okay. So this is all about the features of the monopolistic competitive firm. Now let's move on to the price output determination of a firm in a monopolistic competitive firm. In these we will talk about the short run and the long run equilibrium of a monopolistic firm. Okay. So let's understand, let's start it with the short run equilibrium case. Okay. In this short run, there is condition that no entry and exit is possible. Entry and exit of a new firm is not possible. Okay. And therefore, as the entry and exit is not possible, the firm end up with the profit or loss in the short run. Here in the monopolistic competition, firm provides a differentiated product and therefore they are charging the higher amount of price compared to the other in the short run and therefore the firm having the super normal profit that is higher than the normal profit. Okay, So in the short run, the firm would like to, uh, like to take as much profit as they can get okay from the market and if the cost is higher than the price then the firm may end up with the losses in the short run in the monopolistic competitive firm okay so either they are having the profit or losses but if they are having profit that is the super normal profit in the short run let's understand this with the help of a graph here we have the graph of the short run case of the monopolistic competitive market. In the first graph we can see that uh, the firm having the maximum profit at, at, at a point where the MC is equal to the MR, it is at this point, okay, at this point that is MC is equal to MR and the cost is at this point. So this all is the amount of the cost and the price is at this point. So this whole is the super normal profit of a firm, the monopolistic competitive firm in a short run. Okay. But if the firm is not able to cover, uh, the, that is the price is less than the average total cost, then the firm may end up with the losses that is the average cost is at this point and price is at this point. So the firm having this much amount of loss in the short run case. But firm continues to produce till they are able to cover up the part of uh, cover up the variable cost and the sum part of the fixed cost. Okay. So here in short run the firm having the super normal profit or may having the losses in the short run. Let's understand the long run case of a monopolistic competitive firm. In the long run, the entry and exit of a new firm is possible. Okay. So the firm having losses in the short run leave the industry. Okay as they are incurring the losses, they leave the industry. And on the other hand, the firm having the super normal profit. 
in the short run. As it is feeling good that the firm having the super normal profit, okay. So the new firm would like to enter they would like to take entry into the market okay but the firm is selling the differentiated product so the one product is different than the other and therefore the firm the new entrant have to do the research and development and they have to bear the recent research and development cost so if they would like to enter into into the market they have to bear the cost so there is only cost barrier into the entry of the new firm therefore the many of the firm take entry into the firm and as the new firm enters they take the part of they take away the part of the profit of the existing firm okay they are taking the profit of the existing firm and therefore the profit of the existing firm is decreasing and this process continues till then the profit the super normal profit reaches to the normal profit okay so let's understand this with the help of the graph we can see a this whole situation in the graph also here the first in the first we have the ds demand curve and the mr curve is at here but as the new firm enter into the market the demand curve is also lower that is the price is decreasing okay and the firm having this much amount of the profit that is the profit is decreasing and this process continues we can see it from this uh, the second graph that is this process continues till the firm having the normal profit this whole is taken away by the new entry new firm which enters into the market okay so the all the firm having the normal profit only in the long run case so this is about the equilibrium of a monopolistic competitive firm let's understand the pros and cons of the monopolistic competitive firm okay the advantages of it that as the firm is selling the differentiated product the firm is spending the lots of on the r&d that is the research and development and they are coming up with the new products that is the invention is possible so there is a promotion of the competition is possible in the monopolistic competitive form okay and as there is a differentiated product which brings the greater consumer choices and the varieties okay and which also leads to the product service quality development okay so these all are the advantages of this market structure apart from these advantages the firm also having some of the disadvantages okay the first one of that is the excess capacity which means that the actual production capacity that is the actual production in this market structure is lesser than the optimum production capacity of a firm so that is known as the excess capacity the firm is having excess capacity in this kind of market structure and the price is charged by the firm is somewhat higher and they are doing the manipulative advertisement to increase their sell and to uh, take the profit to earn the profit so, okay so these all are the disadvantages of the monopolistic firm monopolistic competitive firm okay so this is about the monopolistic competitive firm okay now let's do the comparison between the monopoly and monopolistic market structure okay we have talk about the monopoly and monopolistic competition now so in the monopoly we have the single product okay but in the monopolistic competition there is a high number of product and there is a differentiation of the product in the monopoly there is only one seller whereas in the monopolistic competition form we have the many sellers and the 
in the both of the firm we have the large number of buyers in the monopoly firm due to the legal technological or the economic barrier there is entry there is a significant amount of entry barrier but in a monopolistic competition the firm have to the, uh, have to do the research and development for the differentiated product and therefore there is cost barrier only so we can say that product differentiation itself only acting as entry barrier in the monopoly firm there is a high price okay whereas in the monopolistic competitive firm the price is higher than the perfectly competitive firm but it is lower than the monopoly firm in the monopoly firm the price and the supply both can be controllable but at a period of time the firm can decide on the price or the supply only okay but here in the monopolistic competition the firm can control have control over the price and supply but it is to the extent of the product differentiation and the level of selling expenses and advertisement so if the product having the differentiation then the high level of differentiation then the firm can have the uh, control over it the control over the prices and the supply and if not then uh, the control is not there okay so this is about the difference between the monopoly and the monopolistic competition competition okay so this is all about this both market structure in the next lecture we will talk about the other market structure that is the oligopoly so stay tuned for that thank you